Hello everybody, my name is Toski and welcome back to another RPG Maker tutorial. Today we are going to go over making a custom game over event using the Hime Works custom game over events plugin. Now what I want to do here is when the player re hits game over that the last save file will be loaded. I'm going to give them that option. So let's see, first make sure you have the plugin that you have status on and then you gotta give it a map ID to where we're gonna have everything happen so here I have 15 so let's see what I've done there so conveniently called game over a nice little game over screen here with a single event Now make sure that my transparency is on so that way the player doesn't show up on the top left corner of the screen. Give a little prompt. Load from last save and give him a choice. Yes or no. So here I actually have a common event that I call load last save. If they choose no, I'm going to call the scene manager and push the title. So they go back to the very beginning of the game. So let's take a look at the common event that we're going to call. So over here, common event 53, load last save. Now we've got a couple things going on here. Now the first is we call the data manager and call load. We're actually going to load the game using the last save file ID. Now you remember this from our from the last tutorial that I've made for the auto save event same idea here now we want to make we gonna do another thing here below is we're going to make sure that from that that from that save file that we load the map and we make sure that the player is back at the last location they were at on the map and then reload it this way we make sure that they are there Turn our transparency off so they appear on the screen. And finally, let's show it all. So there's a little bit to it. But it will work very nice for us. For at least what I want to do. Now, instead of going to battle and just use up extra time I've made a simple event where I'm going to talk to this little fella here and call the scene manager and we're going to go to the game over scene this is going to automatically bring us to game over so let's load it up and see what happens so let's continue so we see I uh, still have the files from last time. Look the second one. Time to talk to you. Now we're back. To, now we're at our custom game over screen. We have our text to load from the last save and our option yes or no. First, let's do no. And we're back to the title screen. So we know that works. So going back to game over, we'll hit yes. And we're back. Not too bad. Hi, chicken. Sure, let's save it. So, we can see that we still saved to our last saved file, so we know that we loaded from the last one, and using the same autosave event that we've made last time, we load to the exact same save file. So now, what I'm going to show you is what happens when you don't have transparency and the fade screen 
just to see what happens. Let's go back here. Beautiful. Well, this is a little weird. It asks us twice what's going on. And it's done, and where are we? We are in the middle of limbo. So we didn't show up, and we got the prompt twice. That's not what we want. And that kind of was weird, too. So make sure that when you are making those kind of events, you have the transparency set to, set to off so we show up again on the map and the last thing that I deleted that I already forgot what the heck was called well might be a little screwed uh, I'll just reload it but anyway thanks for watching let me know what you guys think of this below I have still a few more planned you know, this is just a second video, so it's going to be a little short series until I come up with more ideas, or if you guys have some thoughts or ideas you guys want me to explore and make a little tutorial of, let me know in the comments below. So make sure you like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.